Hey guys, it's Amy. So today's video is all about VAT refund. As I said in my previous vlogs, I traveled to Europe uh, in June and we went to several countries there and I bought things in different countries and also in different stores. So I wanted to talk about my experience on how my VAT refund went. Before I went on my trip, I also did my own research as to how VAT refund uh, would be and um, I also listened to a lot of uh, different YouTubers videos on how their VAT refund process was and I have to say that it was totally different from how it happened to me so I'm pretty sure there's different ways of how things work especially if you went to different countries and also shopped at different places and I'm sure that they're constantly trying to improve their process to make it more efficient for those of you who are not sure what VAT refund means, it just means value added tax, a refund of a portion of the tax that you paid on the goods that you purchased. So VAT refund exists for any non-European visitors who purchase items in Europe and when they leave the country, they can claim a portion back of the value added tax that they paid uh, with their purchases. Two of the larger organizations that does VAT refund is Global Blue and Premier. Uh, those are the two main ones that you will hear uh, very often, especially Global Blue. But there are also other places and especially uh, stores themselves that do their own VAT refund, which I'll talk a little bit about, uh, which I also came across when I was in Paris. Like I said, I'm just going to talk about my own experience on how things went for me. But if you want to just do your own research or just even get a general idea of how it works, I think the Global Blue website is a really good place to start with because there's tons of information there. You'll also be able to sort of calculate what kind of refund you'd be getting just by punching in the number uh, of the pricing and also the country where you're purchasing your item from. Obviously, that's just it's pretty accurate, but it's, it's also just a guideline because it depends on the company that refunds to you and also whether you have any processing fee, the rate at which uh, the refund is as well, and the minimum amount purchased uh, in order to even request for a refund. So all that information is readily available on the Google website, which is really, really good. Like I said, it is more of a guideline, but it is a very good sort of resource to start with. Just ask the cashier or ask the sale assistant whether they they have they offer any VAT refund of any sort uh, on their purchases. And if they do, what is the minimum purchase amount? Um, always make sure to ask that because once they know, they will know to ask you for your passport and they will know to issue a form for the VAT refund. And of course, with that being said, you always have to have your passport with you. In my experience, there is actually two ways of how uh, forms are processed. I've shopped at sort of like more like department store type of stores and I've also shopped at boutique stores. For the department store type of stores, I shopped in the UK at Fortnum and Mason, which is a tea merchant place. Uh, that's also where we had our high tea experience. And then I also shopped in the France, in Paris, at uh, Les Galeries Lafayette. So for that type of store, they actually allow you to make purchases at each station or at each little boutique inside that very department store. And at the end, when you're done with all your little purchases, you can bring all of those things and then go to their uh, VAT refund department and they will issue you one form with all your purchases in it listed and you know the total amount that you would get and such. Which is very different from the sort of standalone boutiques because uh, at the standalone boutiques which um, so for me I shopped at LV in Spain as well as Pandora in Spain they, these little boutiques, they issue you a form, a different form for each transaction. And you would think that it's okay because you still get forms, the, all the VAT refund forms for all your purchases, right? However, it's actually beneficial for you to aggregate all your purchases in one transaction for those boutiques. Um, just the same as in that department store because they already do it this way, but in the small boutiques, when you separate all your purchases in different transactions, some of them will have smaller amounts and some of them will have larger amounts because, you know, some things are more expensive and some things are less expensive. 
and the less expensive items you may get less refund for them because the rate at which you receive a refund is smaller because in Spain for example uh, you can receive up to 14, 15, 16 percent in refund but that is for the larger sum of purchases. When you're visiting one country in Europe and you're leaving uh, the same country from Europe everything is a little bit more straightforward and uh, even mailing these forms will be a little bit more straightforward because they would basically give you envelopes that are already you know they either you don't even require to put a stamp on it in order to mail it because you're actually mailing it from the same country but it's a little bit more tricky if you're visiting several different countries in Europe and then you're leaving at your last you know where whichever country you're leaving from you still have to get all these process right but you may not have bought everything in that last country you're leaving from so it's a little bit more tricky. I do also want to mention that you do get uh, your VAT process at your last point uh, of exit in the European Union. So this doesn't matter where you buy your things from, whenever where you leave Europe, that's the point uh, of exit. That's the, the place where you will get all your VAT process and stamp. Basically what you do is you would pack up all your things as normal except that for the goods where you're exporting out and you want to get a VAT refund on make sure that you keep those things with you either inside your carry-on luggage or don't check in anything before you get everything stamped as in all these forms stamped because you might be required to show your items to the customs office so yes definitely have all your forms filled your passport, your boarding pass, all the goods that you're exporting that you want to request for a refund in case they want to see it and yeah go to the uh, customs office which are usually quite clearly signposted and um, yeah just have them stamp all the forms. Uh, usually they're pretty good they don't really need to see like in details all your things but we did need to show a couple of things on the day that you leave allow some time for all this stuff to happen because you never know if you have to line up for us it was pretty straightforward there was no lineup when we went to customs and there was also no lineup when we went to the refund offices uh, so it was pretty good and plus we had a lot of time to kill anyway because our flight was super early from Barcelona to UK and then we had like you know at least a three three hour for almost three, four hour window before our next flight our direct flight back to Vancouver now that you have all your forms custom stamped you need to find a refund office so there's several ones of them and they all have different names even so because we left from the Gatwick airport all the custom um, all the refund offices are called Money Corp but I think there's also Travelex if you left from Heathrow or there's actually other ones that might be named different ones you just need to make sure that you you know you find those offices so there's different companies that does it but for us it was Money Corp because this was the company that was um, doing all the the processing at Gatwick and they would basically give you several options usually three you can either get a cash refund, immediate cash refund, or you can get a um, immediate credit card refund, or you can just, um, you know, not go through them and just mail in the forms yourself. For the most part, I opted for the immediate credit card refund, and when I say immediate, it just means that they were able to process all the global blue forms right away and entered it, everything into their system. It gave us the receipts where we can basically track our refund and know the exact amount that will go back to our credit card and also which credit card it would go back to. And it would basically show up uh, in our credit card statement within the next five days, which I thought it was very, very fast. I mean, we left the UK on the 13th UK time and I know that these were posted on the 15th uh, local time so it was basically posted the next day uh, onto our account which was really really efficient in the UK we only bought from this one store Fortnum and Mason and it was a total of 55 pounds 
and we got a total of £3.90 in refund. So that is a 7% refund. Because we did a credit card refund, uh, there is no extra fee from uh, the refund office. Uh, so they did refund us £3.90 onto our credit card. Now, the credit card company did charge us a conversion or like... Um, a currency conversion fees. As you can see, it is a pretty small amount and we did only get 7% back off of that little purchase there. Um, so the less you buy, the less you get, but the more you buy, the more you get as well. And apparently the maximum rate that you will ever get in the UK is 11%. My purchase in Spain was at Louis Vuitton. Uh, I purchased I had two tr different transactions. Before I even get into the amounts that I got back, I also wanted to tell you guys that if you do plan on purchasing, say, a group of items at one store, try to sort of group them together into one transaction because I just assume that uh, wherever you went, as long as you made all your purchases that you can request sort of like that one form where you can request you know the the total amount of refund but that was not the case when uh, i shopped at this louis vuitton store and i thought that it was the same across the board so unfortunately in uh this louis vuitton store even though i purchased on the same day just in different transactions i could have grouped them together and get a better rate of return because like i said in general the more you buy like the larger amount you buy the larger the rate of refund that you can get so lesson learned it wasn't too bad of a loss i mean i could have probably gotten 20 euros more which is still money but at least now i know and you guys know so definitely try to find out ahead of time if uh, you know that's your intention or if you already have sort of like a group of things to buy uh, to maybe try to aggregate them together in one transaction uh, rather than several ones if you know that that particular boutique or that particular place will process them differently in different forms what I bought at that boutique was my scarf for 400 euros and then the on the other receipt I had two items I had my speedy b25 as well as the belt that my husband bought so that was uh, 13 1370 euros so for my scarf which was 400 euros I got 48 euros back which is 12 percent and then on my other receipt where I had two items I got 187.69 euro uh, which was equivalent of 13.7 percent had I put the all three items in one receipt I would have gotten 14 point something percent so I would have gotten a little bit more on both on all on all the items that I purchased what I purchased in UK and what I purchased here in Spain uh, they were all processed by Global Blue I also requested the refund to be credited into my credit card so I did get exactly the amount that was shown on the receipt um, uh, on my credit card but again my credit card took you know their conversion and then also the fee whatever fee is associated with your credit card for the conversion rate so it is a little bit less than it shown here but at least the actual refund from global blue is exactly the amount shown here on the receipt i have another purchase where i purchased from spain but this one is processed by premier tax free and this particular purchase is a smaller purchase it was only 156 euros and the refund would have been 19 euros 50 so it would have been 12.5 percent refund when i was at the refund office they were only able to process the global blue forms automatically as in they were able to process them enter them right away onto their system and i would pretty much receive my refund within the next five days onto my credit card because they were able to enter all of those things and basically process them while i was standing in front of them but with premiere and any other companies they're not able to do that right away so even while they were able to give me the refund right away for premiere they were not able to enter it onto their system per se and give me an immediate credit card refund for premiere so 
I'm not exactly sure why, but that's what I was told. So for this particular one, we opted to get a cash refund because they told us that if we wanted a credit card refund, we would actually have to mail in the, the receipt with the envelope and the forms that came with it. This purchase was from Spain and we did all our refunds in the UK because we basically flew into the UK went on to our trip in different countries in Europe and then we left the Euro European Union from the UK so this was a Spain, Spain purchase we were processing everything in the UK so they weren't able to do it right away everything at that spot I think that was the reason I'm not sure if it's maybe just because they were able only to do the global blue ones and not the premier ones and also other ones so while they were able to take in our form and give us cash right away for this one and they were the ones who probably would have had to send in the form for us on our behalf um, we just opted for the cash refund because we were receiving a refund in cash they had to convert it into the currency that they are able to give us and because we were in the uk they gave us the refund in pounds so 19 euro 50 is equivalent to 16 pounds 35 and they also took a cash refund fee of 2 pound 50 and therefore our total refund for this particular purchase was only £13.85. Any purchases from LV and most uh, high-end stores is processed by Global Blue, whereas Chanel and I think Valentino is processed by Premier. Uh, from my research, I think that's what I remember. Anyway, I only remember LV and Chanel because those were the two places where I was pretty sure I was gonna at least look at. However, because I shopped at the gallery uh, Lafayette, um, they had their own processing department, which I had no idea. What I had purchased at the gallery were these tribal earrings, and they were 290 euros. I would have gotten a 34 euro 80 back. For this purchase, it was a bit tricky. So when I arrived at the refund office in the UK, they were able to take all the global blue forms. It didn't matter which country I purchased from, they were able to take all of them and process them right away and issue an immediate refund onto my credit card. They also took in my premier uh, tax free form which like I said uh, they processed in cash and then there's the Gallery Lafayette one which they did not take at all they said they never saw this they don't know what it is it, it's not something that they take in because obviously it's proprietary to the gallery so I actually had to mail in my forms for the Gallery Lafayette and I even had to put a stamp on it if you shop at the Gallery Lafayette based on my experience anyway I was told that you would be shopping at all the little boutiques inside there you would make all your purchases and when you know that you're done for the day you gather all your purchase and your receipts and then you go into their um, VAT process uh, refund department which is somewhere on the second floor or something I can't remember exactly but there's only one place and you can't miss it and then uh, you would sit down with uh, one of their clerks there and they would look at all your receipts and they will issue you that one form with all your purchases in there. I only bought one thing, so there was only one thing on my receipt. I was given two choices, either a cash refund or a credit card refund. Now, the cash refund would be immediate, as in I would actually receive cash right away. However, with a cash refund, uh, you would have to still get a stamp on that form that you receive uh, when you go through the customs when you leave the European Union and mail back that form back to them and because there was only a 14 day window to do that I think they instructed me that it would probably be best to do a credit card refund for the credit card refund I actually had to like I mentioned earlier and in general from all I've heard in the past you basically have to get all your forms stamped at the customs office uh, before you exit Europe and uh, once you do that you have to make sure that you sign everything, fill out all the forms, put it in an envelope and then mail it. Because I was leaving from the UK and this particular form was mailed back to Paris, I had to put a stamp on the envelope as well. We left the UK on the 13th of June 
and my refund for this particular one wasn't posted until the 11th of July so it took almost a whole month uh, before my refund was posted onto my credit card so while it was a little bit confusing because I've never done that before it turned out to be pretty straightforward and I was happy that I was able to get most of the refund at least immediately process um, over there uh, whereas for my Gallery Lafayette one I had no choice I had to mail it because they just don't deal with gallery and they don't know what it is they've never seen it for some reason uh, and so I had to mail that one in so I definitely experienced all the different aspects of refunds uh, in, in that one particular trip. I hope that this video was helpful and that's not too complicated even though it sounds pretty complicated as I was actually talking about it because I had so many different purchases from different countries. I had several different types of refunds. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome and thanks for dropping by and I hope that you stick around by subscribing to my channel and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye!